Okay, in this example, we're going to prove that the limit as x approaches 2 of the function x squared minus 4x plus 5, that equals 1 using the precise definition of a limit. Okay, so the idea again is we're going to let you know, some value of epsilon greater than 0 be given. So right, that gets specified to us. And our goal is to find a value for delta greater than 0 such that um, we have the following relationship. We have that x squared minus 4x plus 5 minus 1. That's going to be less than epsilon if the absolute value of x minus 2 is less than delta. So again, recall here I'm just using this notation. I'm just writing, you know, so here's our function f of x minus l, that's going to be less than epsilon, if x minus a is less than delta, right? So our function here, f of x, is the x squared minus 4x plus 5, our limiting value l is equal to 1, and our a value is equal to 2. So that's where that inequality, or this, uh, this statement is coming from. Okay, so now let's just notice. So... And this one's going to be nice because things are actually going to factor. Um, so notice, well, okay, the absolute value of x squared minus 4x plus 5 minus 1, well, that just reduces to the absolute value of x squared. That reduces to the absolute value of x squared minus 4x plus 4. And we can actually factor this quadratic equation inside the absolute value. That factors as x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 2. So the idea is if the absolute value of x squared minus 4x plus 5 minus 1, if that's less than epsilon, then we have that the absolute value of x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 2, that's also less than epsilon. And we can simply rewrite this as x minus 2 quantity squared less than epsilon. And if we take the square root of both sides, we'll have the, that the absolute value of x minus 2 is less than the square root of epsilon. So this is going to be our, uh, our choice for delta in this case. So we're going to let delta equal the square root of epsilon. So now we've just got to show, OK, well, so we want to show, so now we're going to prove it. So we want to show if the absolute value of x minus 2 is less than uh, delta, which is going to equal the square root of epsilon, then we get that the absolute value of x squared minus 4x plus 5 minus 1, that that's less than epsilon. Well, we just basically again reverse our steps. So if the absolute value of x minus 2 is less than the square root of epsilon, then in this case, we would have that the absolute value of x minus 2 squared would be less than epsilon. And again, we can just, again, just reverse our steps. So that in this case, we would have x squared minus 4x plus 4. It would follow that that's also less than epsilon. But now we can break up the expression inside the absolute value. We would have that x squared minus 4x, well, we can rewrite positive 4 as plus 5 minus 1. That would be less than epsilon. And again, this is now our statement. We now have that our function f of x minus l is less than epsilon, so the proof is complete.